All right, EDUC 514 wanted to take you through a little bit of an iMovie tutorial, a simple editing in iMovie. Uh, so this is the iMovie interface. Uh, it's got comp comprised of a few different windows, and I just wanted to go through those with you really quickly. Uh, the window on the top left is your project library and your workspace. So this is where all your different projects are housed, and it's also the workspace that we use to kind of put our movie together frame by frame. Uh, to the right of that is the viewer. So any video that you look at, okay, it'll appear up there in your viewer. Uh, down below that, this is your event library. So basically in iMovie, every time you load in some video, they call that an event. Okay, so and and it's it's in in this case this is a, a Lego robot that one of my students made. So this is the Lego robot event. Um, this is a different event. So each kind of the idea of every movie you make or every video that you that you create is an event. All right, and you can see that we got some that are just default new events. This is my kid playing guitar and stuff like that. So. Um, so this is your event library down below. Uh, it also serves as a resource uh, library as well when you click on any one of these buttons uh, over here to the right. So all the music that you have in iTunes will appear here as, long, as well as sound effects that are built into iLife. Any photos uh, that you have in iPhoto will appear here. Uh, this is where you go to create titles. Uh, this is where you go to fetch transitions. And this is where you go to get uh, different uh, animatics, different backgrounds and such that are built into iMovie. And you can make that go away just by clicking the X there. So that's, that's kind of a, 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 a view of what um, the iMovie interface looks like. And the next, uh, our next little part here will go on to uh, show how to import video. Okay, and there's a couple different ways we're going to do this. Okay, the first way we're going to do it, in, in, in this case tonight's class, uh, we're going to import our video. In this case, I'm going to give you some video to put on your desktop. So you're going to select import movies and this just opens a window to allow you to find something on your desktop or wherever you might have it located in this case the uh, the video that we're going to be downloading is called two wallet mac m4v it's an m4v file it's kind of a nicely tightly compressed video file so i'm going to select that i'm going to save it to my macintosh and i have the choice here to either add it to an existing event or to create a new event. In this case, I'm going to create a new event. And I'm going to call it iMovie. Actually, they like the little i, big M. iMovie tutorial. Okay, and I'll optimize that video to be large. That, that's fine. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click import. And that importing process, it doesn't take too long. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty quick process. Comparatively, I mean, back in the day when we would bring video in, it would be, you know, um, start it going and then go uh, eat lunch and watch a couple TV shows and come back and it's halfway finished. So uh, now the the idea that you're you're bringing in digital video footage in less than a minute is is pretty pretty wild, pretty cool as well. So we'll twiddle our thumbs here together as it generates thumbnails and processes our event. Almost there. Okay, so now you'll see uh, down here in the bottom corner, the bottom left corner, we have our iMovie tutorial event and since it's selected if we look over here to our right this is the footage 
basically that we've just imported. Okay, it's about almost it's almost four minutes of footage. Okay, three minutes and forty one seconds to be exact. And when you roll over with your mouse this footage, you can see up in the top right in the viewer right, that it follows the action as your mouse travels along the path. Okay, and you'll recognize this raw footage from the video footage that we saw earlier. And so what uh, this is this is my event video footage, my kind of raw footage. And in order to turn this into the video I want it to be, I'm going to have to take chunks of this and move it up here into my my project window to into my you know where, where I develop my project. And it's a pretty easy process actually. If you've never used iMovie before, you'll you'll find that it that it is pretty easy to work with. Uh, so in this case, I have if you look up in the viewer, I see I have my young man walking toward Trader Joe's. And because this footage, anytime if you want to just play the footage, you just press the space bar, and it'll show you that footage straight up. Okay, I have my guy walking toward Trader Joe's. And then all of a sudden, boom, the camera starts running and moving. And so I can't have any of that in my in my finished video. Alright, so I'm gonna look for the spot where the camera starts moving. Which is right about there. And with iMovie, it's pretty it's a can be kind of an inexact science. But as I'm scrolling through, if I just click and hold and then drag, you'll see that what's happened is I've got this footage basically encased in a yellow box with bars at either end of it. You see those little sections right there? Those are bars. And so I can take one of those bars once my cursor turns into that little line with the arrows going either way, and I can pull it closer or pull it further to, to make it uh, to, to build build my clip out and it'll tell me next to it how many seconds that clip is registering as okay so let's say I want it to go to right about there and I know that I want it to go to there because as I look up in my viewer here I know that this is right about where it starts moving. And so once I figured out down here in my in my footage what clip I want to move up into my project window, all I do is with click on it, hold down and move it up into my project window. And you can see now that if I click into my project window that I have this footage alone up here. And as long as that project window is selected, I can click my space bar and it'll show me exactly in the viewer what's in that project section. And right now it's just my guy walking to Trader Joe's. Okay, so I've taken out of my raw footage, okay, one clip of video. And if you look down here into your into your event window, you'll see a yellow line at the bottom. It basically indicates what section of this video footage you've pulled up into the project. Okay, so you can kind of track through the through the through the base footage here in the event and what you've pulled up into the project. So now I'm going to travel a little further and I'm going to look for where I want to make my first my first cut. Obviously, I'm not going to follow this shaky this shaky camera angle. And so my guys here, right, they're going to stash at Trader Joe's a wallet under the ground and obviously they're filming during a point where people are actually shopping there so you know we're, we're getting all that in the footage so now we've got our wallet on the ground and we have footage of our guy walking into the Trader Joe's uh, area and picking up that wallet and so that's gonna be my next the next clip that I put in my next scene and so I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to find the spot that I want to start down here. And let me go ahead and highlight that for you. Okay, I'm going to find the, set, the part of this footage that I want to start. And it comes after him peeking in as he starts walking under that arch. And so right to about here, I'm going to click and hold. 
and I'm going to drag my footage to right about down where I want it. So I want to get footage of him reaching down to pick up the wallet. And I got about four seconds of footage there. And I'm going to hold there. And then I'm going to drag that clip right inside the yellow frame up into my project screen. So now you'll see up here that I now have two pieces of footage in my project screen. And if I just go ahead and press my space bar, I'll see what footage of our, here in my viewer I have so far. So I have my guy walking toward Trader Joe's. And then a quick edit that brings him right into uh, the scene and picking up the wallet. So again, we'll watch him walking and then moving into the scene and picking up the wallet. And you can see down here in this section, I again have my yellow line down here that shows me the amount of footage that I've pulled into my project. And, and if we look back up here, uh, we'll see that out of the first you know, 30 seconds or so of footage, we've got this little clip here and this little clip here and everything else in between, all that shaky camera nonsense, is now not part of our project, even though it is still part of our raw video footage. And so the last shot that I have of my guy is him bending over to pick up that wallet. And uh, what they've done down here is they have a little close-up of the wallet. And there's some footage of him reaching down and picking it up, close-up on the wallet. So we're getting, we're getting a little bit of a cutaway there toward the wallet. Okay, we want a remember, we want a variety in our scenes here. So... We'll get him grabbing the wallet and picking it up. And then we'll go ahead and drag that into our project screen. So now we'll take a look here at what this looks like all together. In the viewer, we have our guy walking toward Trader Joe's. He walks in through the arch, sees the wallet, picks it up. Okay, and so we have a little issue here in that it's a, there's, we got a little jumpy going on here, okay? So we have a little a continuity problem in that I have my guy picking up the wallet, and then I've got a footage of the wallet itself, and then him picking up the wallet again. I need that to be a little more cohesive, okay? Because I see him now looking down at the wallet, so what I might want to do is chop that little section of video out and I can do it just by highlighting it, right clicking on it and deleting selection. Okay, so now what I have is my guy walking up to the wallet down so maybe I want to grab a little piece off of this one as well and you can also just hit the delete button and it makes it go away so now what I have is walking up looking oh, acting a little funky here Let's see. So now we have a transition from standing, looking at the wallet, and then picking the wallet up. And so in this way, and we'll go through this in more depth in class, so I don't want to edit the whole video here, but just showing you how we kind of select pieces of clips and start looking at the way that we view different things from different, uh, from different viewpoints, and we start pulling all these different things out of the raw video and then editing it to leave it behind. So you can see that out of this entire first row of footage that we have, probably a minute's worth of footage, right? We've got this little section here, that little section there, and this little section in the beginning. So really we've taken about a minute's worth of video and probably squished it down to about eight seconds. So that's kind of, that, that's kind of the idea behind the editing process.